It's showing its age, a little bit of wear and tear. David Heine is no furniture expert. This kind of tells the story of the chair. But the man knows what he likes. But it's still, I mean, even the straps are in wonderful shape. This chair in particular has this insurance salesman. We insure furniture. Smiling <laughs> wider. I know, a good agent too. Than ever before. <laughs> Did you think that a piece of furniture, a freaking chair, would give you so much joy? No. It's kind of fun that this little little chair would be so popular. In fact, this wood and leather mid-century beauty has kept him. He wants to keep it. And his wife, Terry, busy. They were on national TV, Antiques Roadshow, just last weekend. She said, do you know Roadshow's coming to Fargo? To the Bonanzaville, and I'm like, okay, do you wanna go? She goes, the chair, let's see what, let's see what that's all about. The folks at the Roadshow were all about this chair David got at a rummage sale back in 1982. Were you looking for a chair? <laughs> were you driving by? We Can were going to say goodbye to our neighbor. They were moving, and so they were having the rummage sale. And at the time, just, what do you guys want for that chair over there? For you guys, 40 bucks. $40 for lawn furniture. Back then, were you thinking like, 40 bucks? Kind of pricey. Yes. <laughs> for a lawn I chair. Have, I didn't have, I, didn't have, I was just coming out of college, I didn't have 40 cents. Do you ever take naps in it? I used to. This crash out. But good thing Mr. Heine invested, because at the road show, they found out that nice looking lawn chair was worth $25,000 at least. He said, you only find these in fine arts museums. <laughs> and here you are with your butt in it. My butt's in it. My hiney's in it. <laughs> Knowing that now, the chair is no longer just the chair. I just had a feeling. More like a throne. That it was something special. If anything, this goes to show it pays off to trust your gut, or in this case, trust your butt. It was a once in a lifetime thing to come across it. I think it was... Um... Right time, right place? Yeah. His name is Mr. Heine. I mean, yes, the floor crew was like, yes, Jana, that is correct. So Mr. and Mrs. Heine, get this, say they're going to sit on what to do next for now. Mrs. Heine says, sell it. Mr. Heine says, no. What? <laughs> but maybe they say they'll split it down the middle and donate it to a museum, but they say it's not going to leave the Detroit Lakes area. That episode of Antiques Roadshow featuring the Heine's and their chair will run sometime next year.